Hello and welcome to this edition of the Weekly Wind-Up with me, Helen Ashcroft. This week we're going to be talking about Kirkley's Learning Week, which was held in November. And my guest to talk to about this is Sean Cartledge. Hello. Hello. Now, when we say um, Kirkley's Learning Week, I, in a previous role, used to do Adult Learning Week. But this isn't about the adults learning, is it? It's more of showcasing and celebrating learning within Kirklees as a whole and including your schools and all your providers so any age can learn. Right, so this actual event that took place, who was involved in it? We had, we had quite a lot of schools because we had a flag relay so we got all the yeah. little kids very excited. We had um, a couple of the colleges, some sixth formers. We kind of left it as open for as many people to get involved as they want. Yeah. We kind of sent more of a global kind of invite and say if you're holding something, let us know, and it was kind of more of an open. So it's the whole of schools in Kirklees that were involved? Majority were got involved in one, one way or another. Right. Some got very involved and took the whole week instead of just the one day or one yeah. activity, whereas others stayed more to just the flag relay and a couple of pictures. I'm going to have to ask you about this then, because you've mentioned about activities and you've mentioned about the flag relay. Let's start with the flag relay. What's that? We actually got a couple of big flags built mm. and, and made, and they actually went round to most schools that were willing to in any yeah. early years and stuff. And I think a few colleges even actually took them, had a picture with it, and kind of just made it more exciting for like the build-up. Yeah. A couple of schools did still get the flag afterwards, but kind of more of an exciting time for the little ones. What about the activities? What sort we of activities? Had, um, we had a couple of schools that had like interfaith um, afternoon tea. Right. It was just kind of open to them so that they could kind of hold an activity, even if it wasn't actually in the week. If it was before, we've kind of, we said to them, let us have your pictures, we'll kind of celebrate it all still. Yeah. And we also had a couple of different, we had a couple of conferences, we had an early years conference and a governor's conference. And where were these held then, the conferences? The governor conference was, I think actually both of them were textile centre, so... All right, on Leeds Road. Yeah, so they kind of got as much as we could involved. Brilliant. And why, I mean, it's good to have these events, and as I say, I've been involved in the adult learning one, but um, why are they important in Kirklees? It's to showcase learning and I think it's to let everyone know that we are still learning even as you get older and it's still available. We had um, a case study of a very old elderly lady actually completing courses and it was nice to actually celebrate that for her. Yes. But also it allowed schools to kind of, kind of have the good practice and share and we had, we had an art workshop for primary school teachers as one of them. The school held that yeah. to allow even teachers to still learn. It's kind of celebrating that we do not stop learning. Unfortunately, I left school years and years ago. Well, only a few years ago, obviously. <laughs> but when I left school, I left school with no qualifications at all because learning wasn't like it is now. It wasn't, it wasn't yeah. made fun with these good practices and everything. So is this something that's going to be done annually then? We're hoping that it's going to be an annual thing, right, maybe first or second week of November. Right. To just see how it goes, if it's safe. You get more and, and more schools involved. Yeah. I was just going to say that. Are you wanting schools? Are you wanting businesses? What will make it even better this time? I think getting as many learning providers involved, really, even if it is, even if it's from like two year olds all the way up to your classes for the adults. I think as many learning providers will be, I think, the way, the goal for it, really. Right, and how would they get in touch if they want to be involved there's, in this? Well, there's a couple of different ways. We actually have a Kirklees Learning email, which is kirklees.learning at kirklees.gov.uk. Don't worry, people will pick it up because it will be on the website after yeah, this. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's a nice mouthful. <laughs> but we've also got um, a Facebook and Twitter account, right. at Learn Kirklees, and we're kind of hoping that we can use case studies and photos and just anything really. You learn all year round. The Facebook and Twitter isn't just for the week, it's right. to kind of 
keep everything going. And so again, all that can be seen on the on the website, on the KLTV yeah. website. Thank you ever so much. That's Thank been you. really interesting. As I said, from a personal point of view, we've been involved for years with the adult learning and we've had a celebration um, yeah. as well to just recognise people that have broken down barriers to learning in an adult um, life. And, uh, and what they've achieved. So all good on you. Very, very good. And let's thank hope you. people are going to uh, take up the offer and be involved this coming year. So thank, thank you, you Sean. Thank, thank you. you. Remember, we can be contacted through the usual means at KLTV. I'm Helen Ashcroft. Thank you to everybody behind the scenes that's helped to make this programme possible. Goodbye. Thank you.